Hello, today we are talking about how to create your packages and position your packages in a way that your clients really buy them. If you're a life coach, a business coach, a health coach that is struggling right now because you end up doing one-on-one -on -one transactions and every time you do a coaching session, all you're getting paid for is that coaching session and not the next one and there is no package sales and hence you always have anxiety around will the client come back and when will they book the next session and hence you're in the hustle and grind and can't really fully transition into a full-time coaching business. Well, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how to think what to do before a session, how to really craft a package that they would say yes to, and then how to create perpetual packages as a post activity. This is exactly how I've built my business to have tremendous amount of stability as a coaching and consulting income. Now, before we get into that, I have an invitation for you. You see, videos like this will help you consistently work on your coaching business and keep upgrading your skills so one day you can get all the success that you want. It is available for free on YouTube. So go ahead, hit that red subscribe button and let's get talking about what is it that you need to do step-by-step step for you to be able to propose packages and create re-enrollments with your clients. The first thing that you need to understand before even we start talking about how to structure your packages and how to really propose them is understand that none of your clients need you. <laughs> I know that's a downer to start, but let me explain. You see, most of the clients are looking for a solution. They have a challenge or they have a passion that they want to pursue. There's a purpose that they want to meet. There's an ambition that may have. They have all of that stuff. What they don't have is a need for you. What they have is a need to fulfill their desire or get over their challenge. And that is the first shift that you need to have before we even start talking about how to create your package. The reason why that is so very important is because most coaches that are just getting started or are part-time coaches for some reason believe that the clients really need them. Nobody needs anybody. They need their needs fulfilled. They need their desires fulfilled. And if you can show them how you will fulfill those desires, you will be able to enroll them in many different ways. The reason why most of us are not able to enroll is because we talk about our services as a service. Hey, I will help you do blank. That's not what somebody is buying. What your clients are buying is what is it that they need and do you help them do that? The shift in conversation is instead of thinking about what do you do, think about what do they need. Once you've reflected on what do they need, it's much easier to propose anything to them. The first step to propose a great package is to get started to understand where they are at. Most of us start talking about ourselves as we meet our clients. We start proposing things to them. We start telling them our credentials. We start telling them how we have helped somebody. But most of the time, how you really want to start a conversation is understanding where your client's at, which is why you want to start a conversation by asking questions that will reveal where they are at right now. What is it that they are going through in life? What is it that is on their mind? What is it that is bothering them? What is some of the unfulfilled desires they might have? So firstly, if you're in one-on-one -on -one conversation, just simply ask questions. Let's say you're not in the one-on-one -on -one conversation, but you're curious about somebody who has shown some slight interest in what you may propose eventually. If you're reaching out to a company or if you're reaching out to an individual, start with a questionnaire a survey of sort that helps you identify where they are in their journey. Without that questionnaire, without understanding where they are at, you would not be able to actually help them. It's like when you go to a doctor and as soon as you walk and start telling, all right, my fee is going to be X hundred dollars and you'll need to sign up with me for a year before you can get anything. <laughs> you wouldn't sign up with that doctor, right? You would first ask the doctor to check your nerves, see if everything is okay and diagnose the problem and then propose a solution. And then maybe even put you on a recurring fee because you constantly visit them or will need to visit them many times. Diagnostics or understanding the problem is the first step to create a buying intent between you and your client. If you don't understand what they need, you will not be able to propose the right thing to them. And that would actually lead you to never be able to create an enrollment in that package. Once you've understood the current situation of your client, you need to understand what is the want of the client. Sometimes it's pretty straightforward. If somebody is in pain, the want that they have is to not be in the pain. But very often you have to actually ask further questions, stay curious, maybe have a follow on question in your questionnaire that actually helps you understand where do they want to go. 
So if say somebody is right now in their life in a in a situation where they are making X amount of money in their job and they want to get to Y amount of money in their job, you want to understand what is their income, why are they there and where do they need to go and what is it that will be required of them. If somebody that you're working with in context of life and they are living a very stressful life and they feel their stress and their relationship in shambles, you want to understand the challenges of that relationship and then also help them write out on what the ambition of the relationship will be. So you can actually create something that fits that narrative, that fits their need. So do you realize what happens at this point? You've already understood where they're at and where do they wanna go. It's easy for us to now propose something that fits right in the middle. Now here is where the challenge happens. You may have understood the problem, you may have understood where they wanna go, but there is a big gap in the middle. Now this gap, most of the times, us as coaches are so very tempted to propose a long package that will fulfill this gap. But the challenge with that is that when it's a long package, it feels overwhelming for the client to commit to. They don't know enough about you to make a six month commitment or a year long commitment with you. They don't know if you're the right person. They don't know if they should say yes, which is why very often they're more tempted to say, let's book one session. And we know what happens when it's only one session. We are not able to go really deep. We are not really able to have a meaningful conversation. We are not even able to touch the points that we would like to because an hour is not enough. This is where you come in and propose something that is more acceptable to the client and is not so long term that they would feel resistance to say yes. Here are two ways to do it. First is propose an intensive where you're working with the client in a one to one setting where you're working with them for three to four hours. This definitely works when you're working with businesses. I work with a lot of businesses and very often my first transaction with them is to sit with me for four hours during an intensive. And once we are done with the intensive, we are so in connection with each other. We understand the business so well. I'm able to coach them so well. I'm able to consult them even that now I can really propose a long-term package that may extend anywhere from six months to a year which is usually the length of contracts I like to sign. I don't like to do multi-year contracts, and so I usually would end up with a six month to a year long contract. But step one is that intensive. I've spent four hours with them, and so they understand me fully, and I know that I would love to work with this client, which is what the great thing is when you're enrolling through an intensive. Not only your client is in love with you, you are in love with your client, and you would really want to help them. Now, that is one way of doing it. This works in a life coach setting, and this works in a business coach setting. You could do an intensive and then propose a package that may be six months long. The second way of doing it is to propose a 30-day coaching package. You can also call it a 30-day execution plan, a 30-day transformation, however you wanna call it. The reason why we pick 30 days is because 30 days is not too long. They are not committing to something which is six months or a year long, and it's not too short. You are able to show some results in the first four or five sessions that you'll end up doing over the course of 30 days. You can also have a strong follow on with your client during these 30 days that allows you to understand them really well and allows them to understand you really well, which is why this 30 day period is such a good period. So propose your clients a 30 day package first. This 30 days package intent is firstly to see if you can drive results for them because if you are able to drive results for them, it'll be much easier for them to say yes to a six month plan. Secondly, it also is the perfect place for you to understand if you would like to work with this client. Usually a 30 day plan or an intensive is also not overly expensive, which means your client is not feeling the financial stress to say yes to a year long coaching plan or a six month coaching plan. And once they have gotten the result in that month or in that intensive, it makes it easier for the client to make a financial choice if they want to invest in working with you or they don't want to invest in working with you. Here is something that becomes a challenge very, very shortly. What will happen is once you start proposing intensives and one month execution plans and transformation plans is a lot more people will start to say yes. But the challenge becomes is how do we really make sure that the client gets the result that they seek to get by the end of those four hours or those 30 days. And that is where your optimization of your package really matters. This is where I propose that you productize your first 30 days or your intensive. This simply means that there is something that you do that clients come to you for that you are really, really good at. For example, I'm really, really good at bringing clarity to my clients' lives 
because most of the businesses that are scaling have the problem of overwhelm and anxiety and too many options. And so I mastered the art of sitting with a client and in four to five hours, bring absolute clarity in what they should do, how they should do, and what are some of their big gaps that they need to work on over six months to a year to get to the outcomes that they want to get to. Now, because I sit down four hours with them and get them that clarity, by the end of the session, when I propose them a package of working with me for six months to a year, it's a very easy yes for them. The only decision that they have to make is do they wanna invest money and how much do they wanna invest in, and that would vary based on the package that they would take. But what I would get a hell yes for, for sure, is to work with me. And that is really what you're going for. So ask yourself, what are you really, really good at? What is that one big transformation that you can get in 30 days for your client as a life coach, as a health coach, that will get them excited and interested in working with you for six months or a year? Because that short result that you get for a nominal charge of what you would otherwise cost over the course of six months allows them to say hell yes allows them to say, I definitely want to continue this journey after 30 days. So find that one thing and productize it. When I go into my intensives, which are clarity intensives, I would sit down for four hours and know exactly what questions to ask, what will help them, how to really direct the conversation in a way where they get real answers, what are some of the resistances that my client would face, what are some of the challenges that they would encounter while digging deep within themselves to find that clarity. And because I'm so good at it, by the end of the session, I know I'm gonna enroll in one package or the other, which is exactly what you wanna do. You wanna productize yourself in your 30 days or your intensive so you don't have to stress yourself out every time you have to run it. You know exactly what needs to happen and your client will get the result. And that's what you wanna do as the next step, is productize yourself. Now, the last bit, when you productize yourself and you're at the end of the road, you will have a chance to really propose a long-term package. Always be cognizant of your client on where they were when we started this journey and where did they wanna go and how far they have come working with you for 30 days or during the intensive. Because when you're able to help them realize how much of the journey you've already covered in 30 days, it'll be easier for you to say, hey, look at what we did in the last 30 days and now extend that over the next 180 days. This is what you can expect in the next 180 days and this is what your potential outcome by the end of our journey. It's a much easier proposal to say yes to because they have already experienced the outcome. And this is why when you're trying to turn your part-time income to your full-time income, or you're just getting started as a coach and you don't want to always end up with a, a daily one session fee and you want to sell packages, look at these steps. Step one, understand where your client is at. Step two, understand where they want to go. Step three, understand and propose a package that fits this gap but just for 30 days, something that is a shorter commitment or an intensive. Step four, productize what you do over those 30 days or that intensive so your client can have a consistency of results repeatedly again and again every time you work with a new client. And step five is offer them something that is more long-term while they are in the experience with you on an intensive or a 30-day journey. So the five simple steps for you to take your income that may be generated right now with one session at a time to something that is more productized, something that is more project-based, something that is more package-based, increasing your income dramatically and helping you transition from a part-time coaching business to a full-time coaching business or just starting your coaching business right so you can create a full-time income in your coaching business. Now, if you really want to create a full-time income as a coach, I have an offer for you, I have an invitation for you. You see, I created something called Certified Business Coach. This is a program where I show you how to use the coach consultant approach to get into small and mid-sized companies and dramatically increase your personal income and also create a significantly more impact than what you would otherwise create in somebody's life. If you are a business coach already, this is a must-do program. So a lot of business coaches and consultants have already taken the program and rave about how they could increase their income simply by taking this program and learning the strategies inside it. If you're a life coach or a health coach, this is a great add-on to what you already do. You see, a lot of business transformation is about transforming lives of CEOs, founders, uh, executive team members, and so forth. So your life coaching skills come in really handy. But on top of that, we show you business coaching and consulting skills. So you can go from finding one-on-one -on -one people to finding businesses, which are so many and definitely need the help right now. 
So as you get certified as a business coach with us here at Evercoach, you will find your abilities increase dramatically, your confidence increase dramatically, that you can go and make additional income on top of what you already make as a life coach as you learn how to be a coach consultant to small and mid-sized companies. I highly encourage you to go check out the program. The link will be in the description box below. But before you go away and check out and sign up for Certified Business Coach with us, I do want to know, how did you find this video helpful? What is it that stood out for you? What is it that you're going to implement? Tell me in the comment section below. Also, hit that like button if you really liked it. Share it with somebody that you think would find this video interesting. And if for some reason you still haven't subscribed, hit that red subscribe button because what you're going to get on a weekly basis will totally be worth it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Ajit Navalaka and you are watching this on Evercoach.